What is up? Matt here with East Coast Geeks, and today on Strategy Guides, we're going to be talking about missile weapon systems in FTL. Missile weapons, when fired, expend a missile from your inventory, and the unique thing about them is they actually have the ability to ignore your opponent's shields. This makes them a very powerful leadoff weapon if you want to attack their shield subsystems first uh, in order to get their shields down and it allows you to get more shots off if you're using burst lasers or beam weapons as your primary weapon. Now the most popular use for missile systems is as a leadoff weapon and what you're going to do as the leadoff weapon is you're going to target your opponent's shield systems, disabling or reducing the number of shields that they can use. This will allow you to maximize the amount of damage that you can do with your primary weapon, which in, it, in, which in our case is going to be the burst laser. So we fire off our missile, disable their shields, and now we can follow through with our burst laser, and that disables their weapon system. And now all we have to do is finish them off with our burst laser again. Um, note that as a leadoff weapon, you're only going to be firing the missile once or twice throughout the entire match. This allows you to save on your missile ammunition, so you normally don't have a problem with ammo. Now less common because of its dependence on ammunition is using your missile systems as a primary weapon. Now using your missiles as a primary weapon the biggest thing you have to pay attention to is your ammo count because it is your life. If you run out of missiles basically you're pretty much screwed over. Now typically you're going to focus a lot of your power on your weapon systems and it's usually a good idea in addition to your missile weapons to have a backup weapon such as this burst laser here and you can just leave it turned off and then you can turn it on in case uh, anything goes wrong and you need to suddenly need a less ammunition dependent weapon. The great thing about using missile based setups in combat is that you completely ignore their shields. Don't even bother going after their shield system because you just completely ignore it anyway. Target their oxygen supply, target their weapons, target their engineering. Uh, usually weapons first, that way you can take out any high powered weapons that they might have and then you can follow up with either engineering or oxygen. Now as you progress further in the game you're going to run across ships that employ missile defense drones. Now these drones will shoot down your incoming missiles if you stagger them out way too much. So what you're going to want to do, instead of waiting to, instead of just firing off your missiles as they're ready, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wait till all of your missile weapons recharge. And then you just go ahead and pause the game and then select your targets and you're going to want to fire them all at once. In this case we're going to target, uh, we'll go ahead and target the drone control system. The drone control system is going to be your primary target always because that, you want to take out that defense drone as soon as possible. So now that the drone is down um, and we've also damaged their other systems, now we'll want to think a little more tactically and what we'll do is we'll look at our opponent's health bar. We'll see that it only has four blocks left and our Pegasus missile here fires two missiles at two points each. So that will equal to a total of four points. So really we'll only want to fire one of our missile systems. That way we're conserving ammunition. You do not want to spend excessive um, ammunition because you only get so many per round so you want to make sure you conserve your ammunition by not firing off excessive missiles that are just going to be wasted. And that's missile systems in a nutshell. They make a great leadoff weapon, they use up ammunition but they ignore your opponent's shields so they're very powerful to use if you use them right. So go out and use them, win some games, and good luck!